بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم go for the accounting after client data review the next point is make general journal entry which is already discussed send journal entry what is this one uh, you can just select any journal entry and you can send to anyone and you can um, make a, an attachment and email as attachment so this a journal entry can be sent to Ahmad to Mahmoud to anyone as well as an attachment so it is not a big issue just leave it Reconcile, already discussed, working, trade balance is discussed, set closing, date is discussed. In this video, I want to discuss about the condensed data. First of all, what do you mean by condensed data? Condensed data simply means that if you want to reduce the size of your company file. Let us say, for example, we have created this company file, for example, from the last 20 years. Not last 20, let us say, for example, last 10 years. And we don't want to, for example, data of the last 5 years. If you don't want to use those data, if it is not required, and you already have taken a backup of those files, so why you should have a big company file? So you can reduce the files. So for that purpose, you can condense the data and remove some of the data which are not required, right? So this is called what? Condensing the data. You can, for example, you have open account in 2010. Now it is 2020. And you think that you don't require data of 2010 up to 2015. So you can remove those data or you can, for example, make a summary of all those data only, right? But remember one thing before to condense the data, first of all, you have to take a backup. Why? Because if you lose the data and later on you require it, there will be a problem, right? So first take a backup and then go for condensed. So let us condense the data. Click on this one. When you click on this one, so what they ask you, what transaction do you want to remove? What transaction? Transactions do you want to remove? It means which type of transaction do you want to remove? There are three options. Transaction before a specific date. For example, you have selected, for example, 1st January 2019. Any transaction which are before this date, please just remove it. One point. Second one, remove all transaction. Of course, that is not logical one. And the next one, transaction outside of a date range. For example, if you select this one, remove the transaction before 1st of January and after for example december 2019 so it means just keep the transaction after january and before december this is also another way that you can do it depends on the requirement which one is suitable for you for me for example this is good then click on the next when you click on the next it said there is no transaction to remove why because uh, i have created this company after january so that is why let us change the date let us make it for example first may when you make it first may when you collect of course there is some transactions how how should transaction be summarized it means if you want to remove the transaction before first may 2009 2019 for example so for those transactions that we want to remove there should be a summary or not yes create one summary journal entry create only one summary for all those transactions which are before may 2000 before first may 2019 and the second case second case create a summary journal entry for each man in this case, create one journal entry only for several number of months, maybe several number of years. But in this case, create summary journal entry for each month. If you want to go for each month, that's all. Right. They do not create a summary that's not logical. Please do not go for this one. Let us go for the first one. Create only one summary. After that, how should inventory be condensed? Summarize inventory transaction and keep inventory transaction details. So inventory should be summarized. So detailed information should be available. So then it depends again whether you want the summary or whether you want the details. If you want to the details, definitely uh, the condense, the number of condensing data will be less. It means you cannot remove any more number of items. But if you go for the summary, definitely you can condense more the things. So as we want to condense, so please go for the first option. Then, do you want to remove the following transactions? Which transactions? Uncleared or unreconciled bank and credit card credit card transactions do you want to remove all those accounts which are not reconciled yet do you want to remove this transaction mark to be printed for example there are thousand transactions waiting to be printed so please remove all of them do you want to remove invoice and estimates mark to be sent please no just keep it like this for example there might be a hundred uh, invoices and estimates waiting to be sent or to be emailed for the customers all estimate sales order purchase order and so on do you want to remove all of them yes i want to remove all of those right so do it 
do you want to remove unused list entries? It means do you want to remove those accounts which are not used yet? Do you want to use the customers, the vendors, the other names which are not used yet? Yes, I want to remove all of these. So if this is so, then it didn't go for what? For begin contents. So if everything is fine, then click on begin contents. Now let us wait for this one, how it contains the data. It may take a while for us, but sometimes it gave us a warning that due to some issue we couldn't do it or it was unsuccessful, but sometimes it gave us the message that everything was successful. Now let us see what it can show for us. But the way or the procedure is the same as I have discussed it now. Removing four transactions, so two out of two, three out of four, right? And four out of four, when it becomes four out of four, definitely it means they have condensed the transactions. I have just selected the date which should not uh, remove much more transaction. Why the key? Because it is just for the purpose of practice. But if it is, for example, uh, to remove the date of, for example, date of 2010 to 2015, so in that case, there might be, uh, we can say, a thousand transactions that will be removed. From the company file. Just wait for the things. Reducing company file size. So definitely it reduces the size as well. But remember one thing once again, please take a backup first before to go for condensing the data. Even I took a backup before and this thing the data here. Okay, so that is done. QuickBook has successfully removed the transaction before before this data. If you want to open or work or on, on the original file, uh, you can open the copy that was made before the contents. Of course, already it means before this one, I have taken a copy. So if you want this transaction before that date, you can uh, condense the data. So then click on this one. It is okay. Everything is fine. Now it go for the normal company or regular operation. Okay. So then finish this part. So we have discussed the condensed. Then of course the next point is regarding uh, uh, fixed asset, managing fixed asset, which I'm not going to discuss. Already we have said something. And the previous part that managed fixed asset, uh, but I will discuss inshallah later on for the time being. I'm going to escape from this file. So thank you.